Hello folks, long time no see. Today I'm in a really cool area called Prutsvik and I'm going to be working my way along some rocky hills and forest towards a place called Kasperi or Kasivori. I've been here before last summer and uh, yeah, I feel like I wanted to make a return and try a slightly different approach but to get to the same place. As you can see, I'm in the Archipelago Sea and there's a lovely example of a type of rocky island called a clubben behind me. Very steep sided, rocky and covered with trees. And the other side then is where the actual ferry goes. So I'm currently on the island of Nauvo and uh, I have previously come across from here, from the other side, an island called Pargas or Parainu. The area that I'm in is a nature protected area so therefore even though I can walk through it no problem uh, I'm not allowed to camp here so the idea is to enjoy with the walkthrough and then later on when I come to the lookout point in Kasivori I will uh, set up my camp there for the night the uh, plan is tonight is to use my hammock and uh, I have my Lesovic Draka with me so uh, the weather forecast is very good light winds and uh, yeah it should be certainly plus tonight so I should be warm enough uh, let's hope so Here's some boulders that have been transported here by a glacier. Looks for all the world like a dolmen in Ireland. Makes me wonder if the people who built the dolmens were actually ins inspired by stone formations they found in the landscape after the last ice age. Oh, I'm currently sweating. It's probably about 15 degrees, but uh, the last time I was out camping, it was at the start of March. And it was about minus five, minus six. So I've got a mesh underwear and a polyester light top on top of that. And uh, for the current conditions, it's a little bit too much. Okay, so camp is set up and I'm going to put some dinner on. Today we've got bolognese pasta meal, which is, uh, I can just boil it in the bag and heat it up that way. So, uh, yeah, I'm actually quite hungry, so I bought two of these and I thought, I know, but one's probably enough. Now I'm wondering if should I have bought the second one. But let's uh, prepare it first and see how we get on. And, yeah, decided to get some camp shoes. I got them from Temu. Temu, have you ever pronounced it? They are light rubberized sort of plastic shoes like this and uh, they come flat like so and then they loop on and hold like that. And they, they sit quite nicely and uh, it's quite nice to relax my feet after uh, hiking with the boots on. It might be a little bit early to go around with bare feet on, but um, yeah, uh, so far so good. Only slight downside is is that if the uh, if I'm wearing socks, then they don't fit so well. So they're actually mainly more for wearing with barefoot.
So we are at the top of Kazivori at the moment. It's about 60 or 70 meters above sea level. And I am on bedrock. So the top of the hill is solid rock, granite. As you come off the hill, I have my hammock under a tarp and uh, we actually made a fireplace here already, but I won't actually light a fire. Um, I don't actually need it and uh, it's pretty dry around here already. So there is a bit of a risk that, uh, that I could actually catch fire. Mm, I'm being warm. It's so nice to get back out and go camping again. I didn't go pretty much for the entire April. Mm. I started work again in April and uh, yeah, I just, I didn't have the energy to go out in the weekend. Winter has been exceptionally long in Finland this year. Uh, the snow was already disappearing at the start of March. And then it came, came back and it melted again. And then in mid-April, there was uh, a fall of snow nearly nearly a foot deep. So uh, everybody's pretty much pissed off with the the length of the winter. And uh, now it looks like the warm temperatures and sunshine are finally heralding the onset of spring. Speaking of, today is May Day Eve, and, uh, or Vapo Aato in Finnish. Tomorrow then will be May Day, and uh, people will go out and have picnics, no matter what the weather is doing, although I hope it's going to be like it is today. And the curious thing in Finland is that when people finish their exams in school and they get into university, they get like a, a white hat as a symbol of them being able to pass into university. And uh, people will congregate in towns or in parks and have like picnics and then they'll wear their white hats. In Toku where I live, there are there's one big ceremony on uh, it's actually tonight where people will congregate in the center of town at about six. Mm. And when they count down the hour, uh, people throw their hats up in the air and drink champagne. <laughs> well, I have to say, this is probably one of the nicest spots I've ever had a coffee in. Cheers. Oh, good morning, folks. Yeah, it's a beautiful day again today. There is literally not a cloud in the sky and a uh, light breeze. It's quite warm, actually. The uh, sunlight on the tarp got me out of the got me out of the hammock because it was actually getting a little bit too warm, which is a very welcome change after the winter camping. Uh, the last time I was here, I was camping down. In the bottom down there so there was a danger of, of uh, thunderstorms lightning so I didn't want to be up here high on the hill so I went down there and camped down there by the waterside and I had that island opposite me so uh, yeah I won't be going for a swim today I think the water is probably not more than five degrees so it'll be fairly chilly That brew and with some parry down there. Okay, so I'm underway again. There were some people waiting to use the fireplace, so uh, yeah, they were hovering. And I asked them if they'd wait for about half an hour before before coming to the fireplace so I could pack up, and they very kindly agreed. So. That was okay. At the same time, it's not a nice feeling to have people watching you while you're packing up the gear. Oh well, I guess I should have left a bit earlier. 
never mind. So I now have about, uh, let's see, a little over an hour's walk back to the road. And then I'm going to actually walk along the road back to the car. Uh, I think that, that might be the fastest way to go back. So made it back to the car and uh, very close there's a kiosk so there's some coffee and some ice cream to go with it and uh, if you have a look around you'll see that my I'm back to more or less where I started and uh, yeah this island looks absolutely fantastic in the sun so once again Huva Vapoa, happy May Day and uh, yeah I'll catch you next time all the best my mind.